What did you think of The Heat? Yeah, it came out a couple of days ago, so I know some people have, have seen it already. Um, I think it's a film that's simultaneously both incredibly familiar and refreshingly different. It's familiar because it's it's a buddy movie, it's the mismatched cop movie, chalk paired up with cheese, sparks fly, ensuing chaos. You know, we've seen that many times before and you'll watch it thinking of, I don't know, Lethal Weapon and Stake Out and uh, Running Scared and things like that. All these films spring to mind. And of course, it's both Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy doing routines, doing their shtick that we've seen them do before, but at which they are great. I mean, Sandra Bullock's been doing it for a long time. You know, she knows about comedy timing and how to get the laughs. So it is fun to watch them do their thing. The difference, though, why it is different is that, of course, I mean, it's fairly simple. Sandra Bullock talked about it. It's with two women. And that may sound like a really simple and easy thing, but you do sit there and think, wow, has it really taken so long for us to get a movie like this? You know, I mean, it's such a, a simple idea, but we don't seem to have had a one around. That's before. so true. I mean, you've seen Amy Poehler and, um, uh, oh, you know, thingy. Baby mama. Uh, yeah, no. Um, a... <laughs> 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 totally forgotten. Sorry, I'm having a mum moment. Um, uh, who present the uh, other awards that aren't the Oscars? Give me a clue. Give me a clue. Oh, you know Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, see those yeah. two working together. Yeah. Brilliant, but not in a not really in a and, movie. And, yeah, as just buddy, in, buddy. Yeah, yeah sort in of the buddy, buddy, buddy cop role. movie. Yeah. yeah. So and and I, I think that actually, even though it doesn't sound like a massive thing, uh, a massive difference when you watch it, you do just think, yeah, you know what? This is refreshingly different. Yeah. It's familiar enough for me to be sort of cozy and know what's going to happen, and the thrill element of it you know is pretty predictable and it's nothing special but at the same time there's just that little bit of difference and clearly they've been allowed to to to, to sort of uh, freestyle a little bit and try to get you know a little bit of more of an r-rated comedy and to go a bit further and it's just fun to watch them do that uh, and Sandra Bullock you know has that has that Tom Hanks thing I mean I don't think she's had the movies that Tom Hanks has had but she has that thing where she is undeniably a massive a-list movie star at the same time as being like, oh yeah, I could sort of hang out with her and live next door to her and she just seems quite normal. Uh, and that's a great combination to have. That's that's a really impressive combination to have. I'm really looking forward to Gravity. Have you seen the trailer for that? No, the movie she's, about Gravity. Well, she's done, this is her next film, which she's done with Alfonso Cuaron uh, and, and George Clooney. Um, and it's a movie set out in space. Uh, tragedy happens out in space. The trailer is amazing. I mean, it's a minimal trailer and there's also a clip of the film online as well. Uh, but it looks absolutely fantastic. And, and I think her doing something slightly different um you know her doing well out in space for a start but just something that's slightly more weighty slightly more dramatic she's done her comedy for the year and the next one is going to be something uh, i think that could be uh, awards worthy and not many actors who can do that comedy and straight drama i mean you sort of tend to kind of get stuck in one kind yeah of again right, you? you know it's another tom hanks yeah uh, uh, it's i mean they've been in a movie together that was incredibly close and awful that awful thing you know if only that had been better because to get tom hanks and and sandra bullock in a film together is, is an amazing idea but it didn't entirely work I knew I was going to like this film because it's written by Katie Dippold who uh, writes for Parts and Recreation one of my favourite TV shows one that you don't really get to see because you don't get to watch I hear it's very good though it is it's brilliant yeah. I'm going to save all these box sets for you for when you, you. have like a month don't off don't take them down the charity yeah. shop yeah just give them to James because he's not allowed to watch telly. Oh. Um, also, any film that starts with Fight the Power, Icy Brothers, is going to be brilliant. I love the fact there was a clip of Foul Play, which is one yeah. of my favourite ever films with Chevy Chase and Goldie Hawn, um, is on earlier. Buster from Arrested Development makes an appearance. Again, another great television show you've probably never seen. Um, and and, and kind of quite good to see um, Sandra Bullock. She sort of plays it quite straight initially. And Melissa McCarthy, just one of those actresses who makes anything amusing. She Even if she's not saying anything, she makes me kind of laugh. It's a good pairing, isn't it? It is a good pairing. It's a little bit long, as all these films are. Mm. I think it's 117 minutes. And um, and also the baddies. I'm not going to say too much because you can't give away uh, too much. But I thought I wanted the baddies to be badder or just be slightly more characterful. And I would love to see more of Damon Wayans, who's in it, who just makes my knees tremble. <laughs> uh, he, he's wonderful. But I have to say, I give it a B plus. I really, really enjoyed it. And in, in a sort of a week of a lot of... Um, sequels and a lot of sci-fi. It was a really enjoyable film. Um, we've got I've got this in from Shane Sullivan, 
who didn't agree. Okay, Particularly, brilliant. he says, we recently had the grave misfortune of watching the comedy, in inverted commas, The Heat, starring Sandra Bullock, and the other one who was good in Bridesmaids. Uh, this is the usual odd couple cop movie. In addition to the plot that could be written by a word processor with predictive text, the main problem with this movie for me, it's just not funny. I thought it was quite funny. Uh, in addition, uh, throughout this movie, Sandra Bullock looked a little bit too much like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I know that's going to be quite harsh. Um, Melissa McCarthy seems determined to prove her performance in Bridesmaids was a fluke. Whilst it is admirable that Miss McCarthy shuns the usual Hollywood stereotypes, re physical form, etc., it is disappointing that she does not realise that you also need talent. I think she is quite talented. But Shane, I'm glad you've got it off your chest. All in all, not so much the heat as the tedious and the cold. I thank you. Uh, I, I, I see... love the way movies do this to people. Just the total extremes of someone loving something and someone just saying that was just terrible and not funny. And I see that the, the poster that, that caused controversy in the States when it came out um, for, for airbrushing Melissa McCarthy, uh, and it caused a lot of hassle. And But because the movie came out quite a while ago in the States, I thought, well, at least they've got time to do a different one for the UK. It's the same one. They're still using the really badly airbrushed Melissa McCarthy poster what, for the heat. And what way did, what did they, did they, well, what did they it, make it, her look? It's, well, I, I mean, I don't know exactly whether they've tried to thin her out or sort of in inverted commas, prettify her, I don't know, but it looks weird. Weird. Yeah, okay. because it's not done very well. I mean, forget the fact that the, the sort of the, the, the moral questions about whether you should do it in the first place. If you're going to do it, as do George it Michael properly. once sang, if you're going to do it, do it right. You know, at least <laughs> at least do it properly. Uh, it's really oh, badly dude, airbrushed. I love you. I love James King, you are hilarious. What, Grease, of my... and he's just quoted George Michael. Brilliant, yeah. on the show. What a great show. 